Hello everybody. Welcome back to my next big project. So this series is going to be called my Big Tree Painting. That is my super creative title um, to make this sound different from my small tree painting, which was my previous uh, project, oil paint project. Um, so a little bit about what I'm doing here. Um, here you can see I'm showing the camera, the photo that I took. This tree is based on a photo I took at Fox Island Nature Preserve, which is in Allen County, Indiana. On the day that I did this video, um, I had taken my dog down there and we'd gone for a walk. You saw her walk in the background uh, of the video there for a second. And we were walking around the lake and walking through some of the trails. It was a really pretty and warm October morning. And um, I saw this big tree not far from the road. And as often happens when I see a big, beautiful tree, I took out my phone and I snapped a couple of pictures of it. I actually didn't have my camera with me on that hike because I knew I'd probably have my hands full with my dog. And wouldn't you know it, uh, when I don't have my camera with me is when I see this really gorgeous thing I want to take a picture of. Um, so that's usually how it happens. But anyway, I got some good shots and I'm using uh, a photo that I took as a reference here. The canvas is uh, a canvas I put together, so it's a custom size. And um, I had actually put it together a few days before I started uh, uh, this video that you're watching. So I knew I wanted to do something on a larger format. Um, and the size of the canvas is being dictated by a size of a frame. I have a frame that I picked up uh, pretty cheaply um, at a framing store. Uh, and I needed a canvas to fit the frame. And uh, so I got some stretchers and some canvas and I put this together myself. Let me know in the comments below if you would be interested um, in learning about how to make your own canvas, how to stretch your own canvas, um, and some more of the sort of nuts and bolts of like how to paint and how to put things together. I'd be happy to do a video about that. But here you can see I'm just sketching in the basics, the lines of the tree. And there it is. And after a brief interval, now we'll come in with the underpainting. So I just have some burnt sienna and some terpenoid to thin it out. And you can tell I am a professional uh, as I kneel on the floor and use a paper towel to start uh, scrubbing in the underpainting. Um, not that there's really like a better way to do this. Um, painting can be very low tech sometimes. Um, so here I'm just going to start putting some pigment down, roughing in some areas, scrubbing it into the canvas a bit. I'm going to pay a bit of attention to lights and darks. If you watched my previous series on the straw, uh, small tree painting, you'll know that one of the ways that I criticized myself was that in the underpainting, I just did a coat just a basic monochrome coat over the entire canvas. And I really didn't pay any attention to blocking in lights and darks, which is one of the things you're kind of supposed to do, quote unquote, with an underpainting. Um, so this time I'm going to do that. I'm going to pay a little bit more attention to lights and darks um, and start putting those in, giving some indications of those. As is my usual method with, uh, with oil painting, uh, the real, the lights and darks, the development of value will be when I add the color. That just tends to be how I think. Um, this is a bigger canvas, like I mentioned, and so I'm doing this in my dining room. Uh, I had to move some things out of the way to give myself enough space. I also like my dining room because it has a bit more uh, natural light in it, makes it a bit nicer to work in. So here I am blocking in the main part of the tree. And obviously we're watching this uh, in fast motion sped up. But I do 
try to do the blocking in the underpainting pretty fast. This isn't an area to develop detail. This isn't uh, when I'm trying to like f figure out every problem or make every decision. It's really just a way for me to kind of think about the composition and the scale. It, it is really important to have something like this, I think, uh, some kind of plan on the canvas um, to make sure you're getting all of the elements where you want them to be. And again, if you're interested in learning more about composition, how to think about things like that, how to plan for things like that in your own artwork, uh, give me a comment down below. Let me know. I'd be happy to talk about that further in a future video. So here I'm just scumbling in a bit of the background um, and I'll be doing a bit of cleanup and then this underpainting will be done. The next step will be color, adding some color into it and beginning that first level. So everyone, I really hope you are enjoying these series, that you're getting something out of watching me take care of these paintings and put them together from start to finish. Um, if you are enjoying them, uh, please hit subscribe. I am trying to grow the channel. I'd like to do some more stuff uh, with the channel and it would really help out if I had a few more subscribers. In addition to that, please check out my website, artsundone.com, um, and please let me know what you would like to see uh, in future videos in the comments below. That's going to be it for this step. Please stay tuned. Next video, we'll actually start putting some color uh, on this big canvas. Thank you guys very much. I'll see you next time.